Crushing it, me in the house, Jeremiah. Dude, that jersey's sick, man. That's awesome. Teacher's looking good today. All right. So the audience, I'm loving this. Hey, we have the students ready to rock today and our beautiful teachers from Holy Cross School in Delaware County, and they have just entered the classroom, the show that lets students try to prove that they are, in fact, smarter than their teachers. The best schools, they always have the greatest spirit sections, and Delco delivered today. Whoa! They're geared up. It's winner take on the cash and bragging rights. Before we meet our contestants, let's see who studied. It's pop quiz time. The most nerve-wracking test in school, the pop quiz. All right, teams, grab your buzzers. We have one minute and 30 seconds on a clock. We're going to get through as many questions as we can. Each correct answer is going to be worth 10 points. If you buzz in first, wait until I call your name to answer. If you get the question wrong, a contestant from the other team will have a chance to steal those points from you. So be very careful. You guys ready to play? We Teachers, are. hands are. on your buzzers. Students, hands on your buzzers. Time starts now. What is the capital of Hawaii? Mrs. Chapel. Honolulu. Teachers on the board first. Offset, Takeoff, and Quavo are part of what rap group? Jeremiah. Migos. Migos is right. Students fire right back. How many pennies make up a dollar? Anthony. 100. What is the name of Kanye West's shoe and clothing line? Anthony. Yeezys. Back to backs. Nice job. During which war did the U.S. fight against itself? Mr. Hager. Civil War. That's right. What is the term of the person who tells a story and fills in the background information for readers? Mrs. Chapel. Narrator. Narrator's right. What show has characters named Gecko, Catboy, and Alouette? Mrs. Chapel. Uh oh. PJ Masks. PJ Masks is right. You must have kids. <laughs> Which layer of the atmosphere is the hottest? Tough question, tough question. We're looking for the thermosphere. A wrong number text sparked a high school romance in what 2018 Netflix movie? Jeremiah. To all the boys I left before. Teach it for the steal. I'm sorry, that was Sierra Burgess is a loser was what we were looking for. Which of the three branches of the U.S. government carries out the laws written by Congress? Mrs. Chapel. Legislative. Students for the steal. Anthony. Executive. That's the one we were looking for. Nice steal. Anthony at the buzzer. And that's it for Pop Quiz. Let's take a look at our scores. What a round. 40 points for our teachers. 40 points for our students. We have them. We have the students and teachers from Holy Cross School right here in Springfield, Pennsylvania. Home of the Crusaders. Let's meet some of these teams. My man, Jeremiah in the house. You have your football jersey on. You're looking good today. $500, my man. If you win that, where's that going? Uh, to gym and recess equipment. Right, because kids want to play, right? Yeah. All right, nice choice. So, dude, you play football, obviously. Yeah. What positions? Uh, defense tackle and offense tackle. So you never come off the field then? <laughs> yeah. Your cardio is awesome. This is what's great about this guy, because not only is he an awesome football player, you also dabble in something else. What is it? Theater. It's theater. So you go from you go from football beating guys up to the artsy side where you're you're putting on a show. Yeah. What's the last show you did? Uh, Mary Poppins Jr. at Upper Darby High School. You told me a stat back in the in the back. How many people did you have a solo in front of last year? Five thousand. Dude, that's wild. I'd be so nervous. Jeremiah, good to see you. Mia, you're here as well. You, but you're a little bit more of a veteran. You've been dancing and, and been in theater for nine years now. Yes. What's your favorite style? Um, lyrical or jazz. And tell me a little about lyrical because that's a different style of dance. You show like lots of expression. So like, if I if by my face like, like, it, <laughs> I'd be a good dancer. <clears throat> Kinda, not really. Uh, okay, well, I'm not going to get into it then. Anthony, my man, all the way at the end. Dude, you hit back-to-back -back questions and pop quiz there. Nice job. I don't care about any of that. What I care about is that you have the greatest impression of all time when you guys hear this. I can do a Kermit voice. <laughs> well, obviously, we want to hear that. <clears throat> Hi, ho, Kermit the Frog here. <laughs> all right. They're telling me I have to rap, but I'm not because I want to hear one thing. The Rainbow Connection. Give me one verse. Okay. 
Someday we'll find it. The rainbow connection. Oh my gosh, good to see you. Thank you. Dude, you just, that was the greatest thing I've ever heard. All right, you guys, good luck today. Teachers are over here. We got to meet them. We have a bunch of beautiful people. Mrs. Cerulli, can you do the Kermit the Voice or not? I cannot. Uh, no. So $500 on the line here today. If you beat these kids, where's that going? We will. Um, school safety improvements. Nice, because we always want to keep those schools safe, so nice yes, choice. Yes. Six years, social studies, math, religion, but you're also a huge fan of a big band. Tell us about that. I am a huge Hanson fan. And now, if you don't know Hanson, <laughs> which is pretty much everybody that wasn't born in the 90s, it's the Umbop song, right? Umbop, yes. So how yes. do you infuse that into your classroom? Oh, they know Umbop very well. You're um, telling me you show... you. You do that basically every day? Well, I have a lot of pictures with them in my classroom. And on the first day of school, I show them about a song that do kids, hopefully Do kids even get life. into it? Yeah. Jeremiah loves it. Jeremiah, you're you're Hanson fan? Yeah. All right. Well, so, yeah, I'm you're, you're not going to say Hanson fan. I just like Mumba. All right. All right. Nice to see you. Miss Chapel, 20 years, English teacher. Four years you've had these students for? I have been teaching them since they were in fifth grade. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Obviously, the connections are probably pretty pretty big. Yeah. But who's the, let's just call right to the chase here. Who's the most misbehaved of the bunch? Have you had to give any detentions out? I, I have. To one of these three? <laughs> to one of Do you want to disclose three. who that is? I can't do that. Okay. It's keeping their identity safe. <laughs> nice choice. <laughs> Mr. Hager, four yeah. years, teaches science. You're introducing robots to your classroom yes, this year? Yes. I went to a training just the other day on robots, and I really feel that it's a good integration into the school and to the curriculum. Favorite robot of all time? Got to be C-3PO. There it is. That guy is pretty awesome. Yes. All right. Yes. We know everybody. I think it's time we send somebody to attention. Let's do it. Subwero. No, you do it better than I do. We're going to come back to that Kermit at some point today. All right, teams, put your buzzers down. You're going to work together on this one. This is how detention works. Since the game is tied, we're going to start with the students. And I'm going to give you guys a category. As a team, you're going to have 10 seconds aside if you want to play or if you want to pass over here to the teachers. If you choose to play and answer the question correctly, you can send any member of the teacher staff to detention. That's got to feel good, right? Yeah. All right, but if you get it wrong, be careful because one of the teachers get to knock off one of you and send you for that long walk over to detention now the winner and the last person standing they're gonna walk away with some big points 40 on the bank and it's tied up 40 points apiece so it's gonna give you the lead right after this round you guys ready to do it let's go all right students we're gonna start with you do you want to pass or play on the category of social studies play 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 here you go what was the name of the ship that transported the pilgrims to Plymouth in 1620 the Mayflower. The Mayflower. Mayflower's right, right off the top. They got the category. They played it. Posed well, because now you guys get to send one of these teachers. Who's going? Mr. Hager. Oh, Mr. Hager out of the game. He looks confused. Did you even talk to your team there, or were you just like, I'm making the executive decision? Executive. Nice choice, executive. All right, teachers, your category is earth science. You want to pass, or you want to play that over to the students? We have a social studies teacher and an English teacher. Do they want to take on science? You want to play it? Sure. We'll play it. What is the layer at the center of the earth? The core. The core? The core's right. Teachers fire back. <laughs> Mr. Hager, just like that, you're getting some, you're getting some company over there. Uh. Teachers, Jeremiah, our girl Mia, or Anthony, who's going? Sorry, bud. Jeremiah. <laughs> Jeremiah Ortiz out of the game. <laughs> Sorry, bud. Students, category is going right back to you. How do you feel about music? Play, play, man. Play. You feel great about it. What former Disney Channel star has hit songs titled Back to You, Wolves, and It Ain't Me? Selena Gomez. Yeah, Selena Gomez is right. Students, two for two category. Anthony, you had no idea, did you? I mean, I knew. I, I mean, I just let her. Yeah, you let her answer. Nice. That's a team player right there. Mia, you got it right. You guys want to talk about who you're sending attention? Mrs. Chapel. Mrs. Chapel, out of the game. I don't know what's worse, being the second person to detention or being left by yourself. Mrs. Really, how's that feel? I think being left by yourself. Yeah, you're worse. nervous right now. Yeah. The That's good news is, is the category's coming to you. Well. How do you feel about sports? Oh. 
indifferent. I would say that's an indifferent. I'll take it. All right, yeah. here you go. Sidney Crosby is a hockey player on what NHL team? The Pittsburgh Penguins. Ugh. Nailed it. And that's obviously because I'm not a Penguins fan. Mm -hmm. Mr. Rooley, you got it right. Who's going? Is it Anthony or Mia? Mm -hmm. I think it's going to be Anthony. Anthony is out of the game. Give him a big round of applause. To detention he goes. And let that be one versus one. Mia, do you have Mrs. Cerulli as a teacher in class? Yes, I do. So this is a big moment for you right now. To yeah. say the least. Okay, here we go. Here's your category. Do you want to pass or play on government? Play. What are the two major political parties in the United States? Democrats and, Repu and Republicans. Hey, students, bury them. Mrs. Cerulli, you can walk on over to detention. Oh. Me a nice answer, and just like that, students, 80 points and in the lead. Teachers with 40, but there's still plenty of time left because when we come back, we have more classroom right here. Students, get out of there and make some room for the teachers. Come on. My dude. Jeremiah wins. He's got better moves, dude. That was awesome. I don't know where you learned that, but teach me it. Hey, welcome back to the classroom today. We have students and teachers from Holy Cross School in Delaware County. They're battling it out right now. The score is students in the lead with 80 points on the board. To our teachers, 40, but there's still plenty of time left in the game for anyone to win. So let's get right back into it. Put your cell phones away. Let's do some spell check. get nervous. I always get nervous. Teachers say this is the most nerve-wracking part. Here's how the game will work. We have two minutes on the clock. When I call your name, step up to the microphone. I'm going to give you a word to spell and 10 seconds to do it. If you get it correct, you stay in the game. If you say a wrong letter at any point, guys, you are out of there. If your team eliminates every player from the other team, you're going to win 30 points. If the clock runs out, each player left standing. I'm a nice guy. I'm going to give you 10 points for your troubles. You guys ready to play? Yes. Spell check time. Students, we're going to start with you, Jeremiah, up to the mic. Your first word is Depth. Depth. D E P T H. Good job, buddy. Off to a great start. Orbit. O R B I T. Secure. Secure. S C. Ooh, forgot that E in there. Wealth. Wealth. W E A L T H. Ritual. Ritual. R I T U A L. Mr. Hager, memory. Memory. M E M R O Y. O R Y. You're out of the game. Two piece. Here we go. Vanilla. Vanilla. V A N L L. Ooh, forgot the I. Sorry, Jeremiah. You're out of the game. Last one left, Anthony. Purchase. Purchase. P U R C H A S E. Supplier. Supplier. S U P P L I E R. Holding it down for the students. Tropical. Tropical. T R O P I C A L. Quickly. Motivate. Motivate. M O T I V A T E. Our man's on fire. Education. Education. E D U. C-A-T-I-O-N. Didn't want to get that one wrong. <laughs> Held on tight. Humility. Humility. H-U-M-I-L-I-T-Y. My man's a speller. Flavoring. Flavoring. F-L-A-V-O-R-I-N-G. <laughs> Incredible. Incredible. I-N-C-R-E-D-I-B-L-E. It's incredible. Understood. Understood. U-N-D-E-R-S-T-O-O-D. Toothache. Toothache. T-O-O-T-H-A-C-H-E. Anthony on fire here. And look at that. Holds off the teachers. Well done. Just like that, our score, because he's still in the game, getting 10 points for the students. 90 points on the board to our, stu our teachers. 60 points, getting some points there as well. But we're not done yet. The classroom's still in session when we come back. Teachers from Holy Cross School in Delaware County. I've made my way out into the audience. What's up, everybody? Check this out. 
The mascot, the Crusader, this guy's ready to rock. Just look how angry he looks, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah, there it is. He's adorable. He's the cutest knight I've ever seen. All right, right now the score, teachers trailing by 30, 60 points for them, 90 points for our leader with their students. Check this out. You're, you go to the school. Mm -hmm. how, how do you feel like they're, they're doing right now? Really good. All right, if you could give them any advice for the second half of the game, what is it? Just keep it up. Don't lose. Don't lose. There it is. That's it. All right, everybody, start smiling. Let's do picture day. <laughs> Best advice I've ever heard. Just don't lose, guys. No pressure. No pressure. No pressure. Was that good Kermit voice? Say no pressure in your Kermit voice. No pressure? Oh, yeah, you're good. You're good at this. All right, grab your buzzers. We're going to show you all a picture of a famous person, place, or thing that we covered with boxes. I'm going to give you three clues, one at a time. With each clue, we're going to remove three boxes. The first person to buzz in, correctly identify that picture. You're going to get 10 points for your team. If you get it wrong, obviously a, t a member from the other team, they're going to have a chance to buzz in and steal those points. We have three pictures today. Let's check out our first. He is known for his curly, bleached hair. Well, fashion statement. Here we go. Clue number two. You've seen him catch a football with one hand. Anthony. Odell Beckham Jr. Is it Odell Beckham Jr.? Yeah, it sure is. <laughs> Nicely done. We've also seen him beat up inanimate objects. All right, let's see picture number two. They love to sing and dance. Clue number two, Poppy, Branch, and Bridget are some of their names. Jeremiah. Oh. What is this called? I know what this is called. <laughs> it's like, well, apparently you didn't, Jeremiah. Teachers for the steal. Mrs. Chapel. The trolls. Is it the trolls? <laughs> it's the trolls, yeah, and there's 10 points. Jeremiah, was that what was on the edge of your tongue there? Yeah, but I, I thought you were looking for the movie. That was my fault. All right, nice job, man. Here we go. We'll tell you what, you got a chance to redeem yourself, because here's picture three. She has collaborated with Iggy Azalea, Nicki Minaj, and The Weeknd. This star could once be seen on Nickelodeon as Cat Valentine. Anthony. Ariana Grande. Is it Ariana Grande? Yeah, it's Ariana Grande. Ten more points for the students. Let's take a look at our scores. 110 points for our leaders. Students, way to go. Teachers still in the game with 70 points. Both teams still have a chance to win because it's time for the final exam. I'd love to hear this. I'd love to hear this. Today's topic for the final exam is fictional places. Fictional places. I'm going to ask both teams three questions about our final exam topic. Each correct answer is going to be worth 100 points, team. So a lot of points to be wa uh, had here. Teams, you're going to work together to write down your answers in commercial break. But first, no writing quite yet. Let's hear these questions. Question number one. Judy Hopps becomes the first rabbit to join the police force in what city? Question number two of the final exam. What video game series takes place in Liberty City and Vice City? Finally, your last question of the final exam. In Dr. Seuss's How the Grinch Stole Christmas, the Grinch lives above what town full of holiday spirit? Wow. Okay, we know the questions. Each team has 60 seconds to confer and come up with their answers. In just a couple of minutes, we're going to see which team will ace their final exam and rank first right here in the classroom. It's still anybody's game. But first, here's a look at how you can be a part of the fun. I want you here. Join us. Does your school need to be part of the game show pitting students against teachers? If you're a principal or an authorized school official, go to theclassroom.com for more information on how to get on the show. Welcome back into the classroom. Today we have students versus their teachers from Holy Cross School. They're going head-to-head -head. right now. Students, you're holding the lead right now with 110 points to our trailing teachers with 70 points. It's anybody's game as we go into our final exam. The topic of today's final exam 
It's fictional places. Before we went to break, I asked both teams three questions. Don't forget, guys, each correct answer worth 100 points. So let's see who aced their final exam. We'll take that money and bragging rights, right? Back to their school. Here we go. We're going to start with Judy Hopps becomes the first rabbit to join the police force in what city? Teachers first. You yeah. said? Zootopia. Zootopia is right, which brings your score to 170 and currently in the lead. Students, what'd you say? Zootopia. Zootopia fires back and back in the lead over here and moving on to question number two. What video game series takes place in Liberty City and Vice City? We're going to do a double reveal here. Mrs. Chapel, we're going to start with you. You said... We have absolutely no idea. We said Fortnite. Fortnite. <laughs> Students, we're going to come over to you. You said... Grand Theft Auto. So GTA stands for Grand Theft Auto. One of these is right. One of these is incorrect. The correct answer was... Grand Theft Auto, which means students are big winners today. Get out here and get that check. $500. Third answer was Whoville, obviously. Hey, thanks for joining us. We're going to see you next time. And new teachers, new students in the same awesome classroom. We'll see you.